Question 6. A is minus 5 minus 2. B is 2 minus 3. C is 4, 1. D is minus 3, 2. A, B and D, C are parallel, which is shown with these little arrows. Prove that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Note it's not drawn accurately. These things are never drawn accurately in the tests. So, for that to be a parallelogram, okay, we need to show that there are two pairs of parallel lines. We've got one pair of parallel lines. We need to show that these two are also parallelogram, are also parallel. So we need to prove Um, in order for it to be a parallelogram, that AD like that, is parallel to BC. Okay, therefore, it's my therefore symbol, they have the same gradient. If they're parallel, they have the same gradient. So that's what we need to show. So let's go about working out their gradients. So I'm going to put in my little right angle triangle between AD. Right. Um, I'm also going to just carefully note what these are here. So A is minus 5 minus 2 and D is minus 3 2. So between minus 5 and minus 3 the X amount there is 2. Between minus 2 and 2 the Y amount there is 4. So my gradient of that line there between A and D is 4 over 2. So gradient AD equals 4 over 2, which is 2. Now we need to show that BC has the same gradient, so let's do exactly the same thing with BC. Note it's not drawn accurately. It won't look right. Look, it seems further along the x-axis. So let's check this out. Um, but let's put in the value. So B is 2 minus 3. And C is 4, 1. So from 2 to 4 is 2. And from minus 3 to 1 is Four. So my gradient of gradient of BC is four over two, which is two. So they have the same gradient. So I've proved that they're a parallelogram. Um, I'm going to make just a statement to just clarify that. So um, I'll make a statement like um, we know we know that AB is parallel to DC and that AD parallel to BC, therefore two pairs of parallel sides, therefore um, it's a parallelogram, proved parallelogram. Right, that just leaves us with 6b. Show that A, B, C, D is not a rectangle. If it were a rectangle, okay, so if it were a rectangle, what would have to be the case? Well, um, this would have to be a right angle here, wouldn't it? So A, B would have to be at right angles or perpendicular to A, D. And the same here and the same all over. But I'm just going to take A, B and A, D. Those would have to be at right angles if this was a parallelogram. So if it's a right angle, 
um, AB would be perpendicular would be I'm going to use this now would be at right angles to um, AD right. AB would be at right angles to AD so I need to prove that that's not the case right. so I have to prove they're not at right angles to one another so the gradients would have to be negative reciprocals. So I'll write that down. Therefore, gradient of AB and gradient of AD would be negative reciprocals. You could just write the maths for that, um, which would be, therefore, gradient AB times by gradient AD would be equal to minus 1. Remember, if, if things are negative reciprocals, then they multiply together to give minus 1. And the AQA seem keen on you showing that rather than just saying that they're negative reciprocals okay so let's work out the gradients um, gradient ad we know that already we've already worked that out right we've worked that out here as two okay um, let's have a look at gradient ab Right. We've not worked out the gradient of AB. Let's work it out now. So I'm going to go over here and put in my right angle triangle. Okay, so um, from minus 5 to 2, that is 7. And from minus 2 to minus 3, that's minus 1. Okay. So my gradient of AB is minus 1, that's the amount up or down, divided by 7, which is minus 1 seventh. So what I've got, these need to multiply together to give minus 1 for them to be negative reciprocals. So I'll show that that doesn't work. Therefore, 2 times by minus 1 seventh, or minus 1 over 7, equals minus two sevenths okay which is not equal to not equal to minus one therefore they are not not perpendicular therefore um a b c d is not a rectangle.